So the next time I'm in a restaurant, I'm gonna be like, let me put some season in this gumbo. Hey guys, I'm BMOC. You're now tuned to BMOC.tv. After this review, please do me a huge favor and check out the brand new episode of The Culture, episode two. We talk about the Strata Compton review and some other movies you may want to see have music, music movies. And also, K. Michelle versus Dating Black Men. She made a statement about not dating black men. So me and a few co-hosts kind of get into that. So after this review, please do me a favor and check it out. Now today I want to get into the brand new album of J-Rock, 90059. It's almost like 90210, just without the two and the... You know, you know what I'm saying. But, uh, you know, J-Rock was dope. You know, I, I, look, I was really looking forward to this album. You know, just the whole TV click is just so eclectic, man, and just so dope. Um, you know, obviously Kendrick, you know, top album of the year, I think. Um, you know... Schoolboy Q's last album was dope. Ab Soul's projects have been dope. And J-Rock has been really, really dope with his features and his last album. So I was definitely excited to see what he was cooking up. Because it's been a while. I know it takes, you know, per perfection for a masterpiece. And as it takes a while to kind of build that up and, and draw it out and, and lay it. And I'm just so thankful he took his time with it. Because from top to bottom, it's incredible. I'm not going to go through every single track and try to focus on my favorites. It was really hard to pick favorite songs um, because, again, the whole project is incredible. But shout out to the, the track Necessary, which was hot. Um, shout out to Wanna Ride featuring Isaiah Rashad, which is incredible. And The Message. I love his his flow and his conviction in those songs. Um, the other tracks I'm going to talk about, I like just a little bit, tad bit better. But those three, definitely not. I could play those again next week and change up my whole favorite tracks. So right now, today, Today, I'm gonna focus on my favorites. So one of my first favorites of it is Easy Bake featuring Kendrick Lamar. Oh my god. The beat is hard, the beat is hard, man. I love the little also the back and forth flow, back and forth between Kendrick and um and J Rock. I love like the styles we jade a little bit. They could have did a little bit more, but I, I love what they did. It was incredible. Then the beat, the second half of the beat sounds like it reverses, and then SZA comes up there, and SZA is just one of my favorite new singers, um, so I loved her. It was just a perfect collaboration, definitely a great way at the beginning, kind of the beginning of the album, kind of start things off after necessary in the intro. Um, love it. Fly, dope, whatever is <laughs> hot. Also, really love the G Funk influence as well. It's a, a touch of that on the second half, man. It's just kind of blending, you know, that that West Coast sound that we love with the, the trendy stuff that's going on now. So J Rock did a lot of this, you know, as far as having songs that you know the the casual consumer can get into, but also people who really like that eclectic sound and they want West Coast, they want a little gangster, they want some storytelling. He did a really great job bridging all those things together um, through each song on the album. Yeah, after that was um, Gumbo, <laughs> um, soulful, super soulful vibe. I can hear like a, maybe an outcast or something on this. You know what I'm saying? I think he did an incredible job. Again, super soulful, super smooth. I love the strings break down towards the end and the lead guitar really gives it that, that funkiness. This is probably my second favorite track on the whole album. Another one is The Way. It's called The Way featuring Sir. <sighs> You want something to turn up to. And it's not like the typical turn up stuff that's on the radio. Like it's really like different turn up. It's really refreshing. Um, it's just another Trump banger. I, it was so funny. While I was listening to the album, I had to like rewind this song before I could get to the next one. Because sometimes I like listen to the whole project and I'll go back and rewind certain stuff. But this one I had to rewind again because um, the beat was just so different. But it was like a turn up vibe. But it was just super, super refreshing and, and, and super new. Uh, so another dope one. Another favorite is Telegram going crazy. Smoother than the afternoon drive on Sundays. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Really smooth. Had some little, you know, relationship talk. Basically talking to his girl like I'm out here trying to network and rap. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and do things better for us. Try to elevate our whole situation. And I don't need the stress. I'm trying to die temptation. Me and you going through it. So definitely a really, really relatable record if you're in that situation of, again, trying to elevate your situation and somebody else's your relationship with. You're trying to explain to them the business. Explain to them what you have to go through. Especially our guys out here. What we gotta go through, man, it's just so much. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I, I love that, but it's also still a really smooth song. Um, so it, it was great. It was great kind of storytelling, but also really great just melodically, um, just tempo, laid back, again, car, 
in the car, mid-afternoon, you driving, you know, your chick on the side with you chilling, that's the perfect record to play. I could definitely hear this as one of the next singles or the next single. Then we get to the self-titled track, uh, 90059, um, where it gives a little ODB-ish on the hook. I will admit, you know, the first few times I listened to the hook, I was like, it's kind of throwing me off. But his verses, the, the, the structure of his verse and delivery is just so, like, hard and brash. It reminds me a little of um, early Busta Rhymes um, during the come in, when the statue strikes type of era. And, you know, like, again, the hook reminds me of an ODB-ish type of sound. So it's cool. I don't mind it after a while. So I guess he's trying to be, like, abstract and different than what's on radio, you know, which is very digestible music. Um, so he's kind of going against the grain with that, which I give him respect for. And it happened to be, you know, a single. So that's even more, like, in your face. So, I, I, yeah, I give him props for it. The hook, I'm still trying to get with the hook. Uh, but the verses are solid enough for me to, to keep playing it and add it to my favorites list. Another favorite is Vice City with all the Black Hippie. If you don't know who Black Hippie is, it's Kendrick, Schoolboy Q, it's J Rock and Ab Soul. Um, the first time I heard it, I was expecting something more, and I played it back like two or three, four times, and I'm like, this is like so ill. They're like playing off each other's flow and the, the delivery, the rhyme patterns, and it's like almost like this laid back complicated but I'm not trying to be complicated but it's complicated flow um like they do it it's almost like it's effortlessly um can't get it out effortlessly uh, it, and I don't know how long it took them to do the track but it just works so well you can definitely tell that they like you know grew, grew up in the business together um just off their chemistry I would love to hear another full you know black hippie album like a more like the um I know they've done obviously projects all together but maybe just like a solid album of all four of those guys together would be dope even if they don't we have this, <laughs> um, which again is incredible. First time I was like, uh, expecting something a little more, um, something groundbreaking. And after you know, you know, three or four times, I'm like, yo, this is sick. And just, and I actually looked up just the rhymes, just to kind of look on paper to kind of digest everything they're saying, and just how the words bounce and they stop. It's like real unorthodox. Sick. It's sick. Dope. Check that one out. Then we get into the track Fly on the Wall uh, featuring Busta Rhymes. I would love to hear, I always say this about at least one track per album, I would love to hear this with a live band. Maybe like an MTV Unplugged. Does BT do Unplugged anymore? I don't, I don't think so. They need to. They need to. Um, but this would be a dope record to hear with a live band, live bass. Um, again, a great storyteller from J-Rock showing how versatile he is. Um, and still keeping up with his high vocabulary and the cadence with this. But still telling a full structured story, which is impressive. Um, Buster Rhymes is dope. As always, Busta Rhymes is sick and kind of gives some backstory as far as how he met J-Rock and giving him props. So it, it wouldn't be a collaboration I would have thought of before, but after hearing it, it makes perfect sense. Um, again, great energy, great record. And my last favorite track, I feel like I'm doing the whole album. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing every track of the album. But my last favorite track, my last favorite is The Money Trees Part 2, um, Part 1 I Love from Good Kid, Mad City. Um, this is just with J-Rock by himself. Beat is slamming it's probably my favorite beat on the album um i think besides like i think i said gumbo gumbo's my second favorite i think i love how he's riding the beat um which is is, is great i also hear a little southern drawl in his voice i don't know if it's just me or not i know he's not from the south he's from watts cali with, with the zip code he's repping um but i hear a little of that southern influence i don't know if it's you know, on purpose or intentional or subconscious, I don't know, but I hear that, I love it. It makes it sound really unique um, to his flow, you know, like anybody else. I kind of can hear a little bit on this record as well, along with the gumbo um, and a couple a couple other songs on the album. So, um, you know, dope. So yeah, those were my favorites. Um, again, if I, again, I know I skipped over Necessary, I skipped over Wanna Ride, uh, The Message, um, the intro, again, the intro track, the beat was banging. If you want to hear more of my opinions on those, you know, put in the comments, I can, you know, elaborate on those tracks but you know overall man I just I love I love a full body of work that you want to just play over and over again where I could really play this song from beginning to end and don't hit the skip button like this is what I'm talking about and I hope it doesn't get underlooked um, because you know in their camp Kendrick is now the, the star of the show um, but sometimes it's hard when you're in a kind of a click and one person kind of the breakout person because even though it, it sheds light on everybody else it can kind of almost dim your light too because they're going to compare it to you know the pimple butterfly um, so 
I, I really hope people just judge it on its own merit. Um, you know, know that they're dope because they're all associated with each other. But J-Rock, J-Rock, man. J-Rock's actually, I think he was like the first person to get signed to TDE. Uh, he's, I think he's the oldest. He's like the OG of, of the crew, a young OG of the crew. Um, so again, kudos to him. Great body work. Uh, please check that out. Um, also, sidebar, I'm not going to do a full review because I know the time has passed for that. But that Scarface Deeply Rooted album is phenomenal. Um, again, if I have some time to do it, I'll definitely do a separate one. I know sometimes when, when the album has passed, people are not really checking <laughs> for reviews anymore. Um, but Scarface Deeply Rooted is dope. That's another album I could play from beginning to end. And, and now, hearing J-Rock's album, I can play this album from beginning to end. So, um, kudos to him, dope. Do yourself a favor and check that out ASAP. It's out right now. All the streaming services, purchase it in the store, whatever. But um, definitely go support, you know, a great art and great artist. So thank you guys so much for tuning in again. I post new reviews every Friday. Also check out our new show, The Culture. We talk about, you know, um, brand new music topics, discussions, relationships, all that good stuff um, every Monday. So please tune in and support that. Leave some comments. And, and that's it, man. You can check me out at youtube.com slash bmoctv. Please subscribe or bmoc.tv. I'm bmoc. Peace.